Hi there, mathematicians, and welcome to the Flipped Classroom of Geometry. Our objective is that legends will be able to set up their Geometry Interactive Notebook. And I always shorten it down to INB, so from here on forward you'll see the letters INB. So I'm referring to the Interactive Notebook. In order to be ready for the first start of the school year. Now hopefully you have a journal with you right now as you're watching this video so that you know and can set up your journal right away. Some examples were the five star that you could have bought and purchased. And the five star is a little bit uh, higher priced option um, and brand, but make sure that your journal has the dimensions of at least eight and a half by 11. Some journals are 9 by 11, which is fine. That meets the requirement. That's actually more than 8.5. And, and it's a one subject, and it has 100 sheets. So you can look in different places where they have the information in your journal to find out if you have the requirements necessary, and you should be good to go. All right, so please complete the following task for phase one of your geomet geometry interactive notebook number one. And you, have, you should have three total journals. So as long as you have your first one to start the year, you're in good shape. All right, so our first step is you're going to start by writing your full name and geometry INB, which is shortened for interactive notebook number one, with a permanent marker on the front of your interactive notebook. So you can see an example here. I've written my name, Shauna Johnson. Geometry INB number one, and I don't care how, how big or how small you make this, as long as it's somewhere visible on the front cover, your first name, last name, and then Geometry Interactive number one. And then this Casemate brand is a good brand at Walmart. Again, look for the 100 sheets, college ruled, it's a one subject, and dimensions here are nine and uh, 11 by 9, so as long as it's at least eight and a half by 11. So if you go bigger, that's fine. All right, step two, we're going to create a cover page. So once you open up your journal, and most of the journals have um, two pocket available there at the very, very front, and then your line pages start after that. If you don't have the pocket folder option, that's fine. It's no big deal. It's just nice and handy to have. But the cover page will be the first lined page after you open your interactive notebook. And so right here on the front page, I want you to include the following information. So put your first and last name, then put geometry INB number one, class period, which you may or may not know your class period right now. So if you do, go ahead and write it in. If you don't, you can just leave a little space. And then units one through four. And this will be our first and second six weeks journal. And the dates for this journal are going to occur from August 15th, which is the first day of school, until October 27th. All right, and that completes step two. All right, moving on to step three. We're going to decorate this covered page. And I just want you to think about some connections that you have to geometry. So consider how much geometry occurs in your daily lives. So on this page, decorate with some quotes or jokes, pictures or images that depict geometry and how it connects to you. So for example, on my cover page, I put this little joke. Parallel lines have got so much in common. It's a shame they'll never meet. Get it? They'll never, because they're parallel. Okay. Anyway, I've included some other fun quotes here or thoughts. Um, Cerebral thoughts, or if you're a soccer player, sports, um, then that's geometry. You've got pentagons and hexagons that make up the shape of the ball there. If you are into darts, so look at circles, and then you have concentric circles, and then you have triangles. So there's all kinds of geometry if you enjoy darts. So think about geometry that's all around you and how you interact with geometry every day. Things that you enjoy or words of wisdom and decorate on your page. You can put as much as you want or as little as you want, but decorate somehow on um, that first page. And step three is now complete. All right, moving on to step four, which is number your pages. 
So skip the cover page and start numbering on the back of the cover page. So this first page where you put your information and some quotes and pictures of geometry that connects to you, there is no page number on this page at all. So flip the page and then that will be your first page number on the left. So start with odd numbers on the left and even numbers on the right and start with number one on the left corner. That's going to be on the immediately on the back side of your cover page. Then on the right side will be two and then flip the page you'll have three, flip uh, and then four and then flip the page you'll have five, six, flip the page you'll have seven, eight and so on until you get to the end of the notebook. So that's going to take a few minutes. You might want to pause the video right here and get that completed. And then step four will be all done. Phew! I know that takes a while to number all those pages. But now we're on to step five. So table of contents will be on pages one through four. So to set up your table of contents page, just um, create three columns by tracing the lines that are already on your page. So the first column will be your date column. So all the dates will be recorded on that first column. So every table of contents page has first column date. And then the second column will be titled description of contents. And so this is where we'll put like titles of lessons in that second column. And you want that to be a wider column because it's gonna include multiple words. And then the last column, your third column will be the page and that's going to be the page number in your journal. So this column doesn't have to be as wide so you can um, leave plenty of room for your description. So do the same thing, repeat tracing lines and creating the three columns of the titles for pages two through four. And then step five will be complete. And you have just completed phase one. Success! Mission accomplished! Alright, your journal's ready to go. Bring it to class. See you soon.